Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Mary. Mary. No. Uh, 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 
No, no. Ah. Ah. Let me explain! These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here! This can't be happening! No, please, stop! I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Has it fled? Shit, where did it go? Now, I can defend myself. Tricky bastards. Kill that thing! Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Who are you? Stupid beast! Sorry. It's an inch! Kill him! No. Please, stop! Burn! Burn me! Who are you? There's one of them vermin! What do you want? I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? W what is this all about? Ah! ah! What in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah! of the job. Ah! Ah! Just, just leave me! Ah! 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 The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? This seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Whoever did this to us, I will find them.
This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fence it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. That's impossible. much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy.
This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Into a glowing of flesh. Voice in my head. If I'm not mad. And then, it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. I need to leave now. Here's the leech! Here! My head's spinning! Oi! Come out, you coward! 
I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. I'm still in Southwark. Over I there. must reach the West End. Die, Fermi! Back home. It's a strength. A strength I never knew I had. I cannot enter. It's dead, all right. Open it! This one of them This shouldn't be. We have to possible. stop it! the limits of my body. My strength. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's locked. It's locked, all right. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. This is 
despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. What will London have to say to me? I cannot enter. I've so many questions unanswered. of London become a mausoleum. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the sense trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Where has everyone gone? to the turquoise turtle. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. Any other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Boys get what's coming to them. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? <laughs> you might as well come in, whoever you are. 
Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Sayeth the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Would anyone... That's something I can do for you. <sighs> and who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I... I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Just... Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> That's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing, if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... 
we all started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I think there's gotta be something can be done to get out of this. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city?
Her body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Locked, all right. Please, sir, can't let you through. Last warning, sir. Get back to a warm fire. Shut that foolish mouth of yours. You ever know McCullum to be wrong about anything? Right. No time I can remember. Over oh, there! There's one in there! Ah! 
Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me... an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <laughs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? 
What do you mean by Skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. 